everyone, it's Bethany. Welcome back to the 25 Days of Cricut Cheer. As always, I would love if you would share these videos to help inspire other people to come over and watch the 25 Days of Cricut Cheer as we just gain some more inspiration on how to use our Cricut machine to craft for this holiday season. It has been so much fun to create these videos and I know you guys are loving them. The comments have been so sweet. So in this video, we are going to be using very simple materials. We are going to use some window cling and we're gonna be creating some little snowflakes out of window cling to place on the windows just to make it a little bit more festive and it's a really easy way to decorate. So I have this window cling from Cricut. It is the frosted window cling in white and I am going to be using my Cricut Explore Air 2 to create some little snowflakes to go on my windows. So as always we're going to hop into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you which files I would recommend or types of files I would recommend for cutting out window cling and we will get started and I can't wait to see how this turns out. Let's Let's get started. Okay, so here in Cricut Design Space, I have found some snowflakes that I am going to use for my window cling. And I chose these snowflakes by going to the images section, it's that fourth button down on the left hand side, and I searched for snowflakes. They're all called snowflake. And what I did was I focused on snowflakes that were not complex because you don't want to spend a lot of time if you have a snowflake with a lot of tiny pieces that are independent of one another, you're going to spend a lot of time getting those on your window. So see how this is all one piece. That's going to be very easy as a window cling to place on. This has little pieces in the middle, but everything is all one piece. So that makes it really, really easy after you weed it out to place on the window. Same with this. It has a couple pieces to weed out, but it's all one piece. So let's go over to images and I am going to search for snowflake and I just want to show you some images images that I would avoid using. So I would probably avoid using, I would avoid something like this where there are independent pieces of one another. Do you see how there are some independent circles? You can most certainly do this if you have the time and patience to place all those tiny pieces on your window. For me, as a busy mama, I just do not have time for that. So I try to make it as simple as possible. So sticking with things like this that are easy, I would probably avoid things that are too thin. So nice and thick, chunky snowflakes would probably be better. Um, so just think about how delicate, you know, window cling comes off of those sheets. Stuff like this would probably be a little too intricate. I'm not saying it's not do doable, but I just think it might be a little bit of a stinker. So I gravitate towards things like this right here where it's a little bit thicker and it will be a little bit easier. Again, something like this is something I would avoid because as you can see, this is made up of seven individual pieces that you would have to place individually on your window. This is also really beautiful as well. I might add that to my little um, queue of snowflakes that I want to create. Okay, so let's go ahead and insert that fifth additional one. And I think I'm going to replace this with this. I think that is so pretty. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to decide how big I want my snowflakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab um, let's see, I'm thinking, I'm grabbing a little measuring tape on my craft space behind the scenes, and I'm thinking about four and a half inches will be really, really nice. You can make these again as big as big or small as you want. Four and a half by five, that looks good to me. I'm not going to get too picky, um, but you want them big enough so that they're not too delicate. Let's see, for this one, I have about four and a half by five, and this is about four and a half by 4.8, that's about good. And then four and a half by five here. So I think that that is a really good size. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna make sure all of these are one color. It's cutting out of a white window cling, but it doesn't have to be white um, in here. I don't have to make these white. I just need to make sure that they are all one color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through, maybe I'll just make them all light blue. And by doing this, it tells my Cricut that I want all of these snowflakes to be on one mat. And I can go over here also to color sync to make sure I just just clicked on color sync it's in the top right side of the layers panel but it makes sure that there's only one color selected there okay so now I want to I probably want to do maybe two of each let's see maybe two or three of each so I am going to just highlight all four and I'm going to duplicate 
just like that. And then I think, let's see, I probably don't need, maybe I'll just do two additional ones. So maybe I'll just duplicate this, maybe for a total of 10. I think that'll be just about right. And then I think maybe I'll duplicate, maybe I'll duplicate that one. Okay, we'll duplicate that. Okay, so I have a total of 10 that I'm working with. So I have my Explore Air 2 selected here. I'm going to go ahead and say Make It. And then what it's going to do is it's going to place it right on my mat for me. So it looks like it's going to take up three mats. That's just fine. I will go ahead and just double check there all where they need to be. I might just bring this out just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And sometimes I just drag them out just to give me a little bit of grace in between each one. That looks fine. Okay, now what I'm going to do is click continue. And then it's going to locate my Explore Air 2. And then I'll go ahead and select my material. So I'm going to browse all material. And let's see where this is located. It might be an other. Okay, so it is in other, which is at the very bottom. So I am going to just select window cling. I thought maybe there would be two options since this is a frosted window cling, but let's see. I'm just going to double check if I type in window cling that I'm not missing another option. Okay, I guess there's only one. Okay, so I'll go ahead and use that and I will say done. Then I'll go ahead and load my mat. This is just using the fine point blade and I'll get to cutting out my first mat. Okay, I'm gonna opt for my green standard grip mat just because this is a little bit of a thicker material. So I like to use my standard grip mat if I have a material with just a bit more thickness to it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place my entire roll on my mat just like this. Now I know that it's not all gonna fit on one mat, of course, but for me, it's just easier to trim off my extras after I've cut. I think it saves a little bit more material. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my machine and then this roll just kind of rolls back and forth in the machine as it is cutting. And I'll be right here anyway to make sure that it stays organized. I'm gonna load my mat. And then I'm going to cut this frosted look. It's hard on camera. You might be able to tell when I zoom in in a minute, but it is so pretty. I think it's gonna look beautiful on my window. Okay, so all of my mats have cut. This is the third mat that I'm going to unload. So one thing you want to do with this material is you want to turn over the mat and you wanna bend the mat away from the material because this material tends to bubble. So if you pull and rip this material off of the mat, it's gonna bubble and it just, um, it's not ideal. I don't think it would really ruin anything, but I just try to avoid having that happen. So then I'm going to turn this over and it's hard for you guys to see, but I can see where I need to cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim off my pieces here. And I have a couple pieces that don't have snowflakes on them that I can save if I wanna make something small. You never know what you're gonna use it for, but I have a little bit of scrap here as well. And then let's get to weeding. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start weeding and I am going to weed this just like I would weed adhesive vinyl or iron-on just with my weeding tool. Now, before I get started, I wanna let you know that this is a very light shimmery color and Cricut has put it on a white background. So more likely than not, you are not going to be able to see the detail of what I'm weeding. So please just give me some grace in the comments. I cannot control what Cricut does or what any manufacturer does for color. So this this is white on white, but again, that is beyond my control, and I'm going to teach you the best I can with what you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly pull away my extra or my negative space. So what you're doing here is you are going to weed out all of the pieces that you are not going to need. So in this case, I like to start with the background, and I'm just slowly... It's really easy to weed and that cut setting, I was initially a little bit nervous just because the cut set setting just said window clean and it didn't say anything about frosted window clean. And sometimes that makes me nervous when it's not specific, um, but it, it did a great job. So it worked perfectly. So I'm just going to take those pieces 
the surrounding pieces off. And so you can kind of get an idea of what this is. It's a very frosted look. It looks as if it's like armor etch or some type of, if you want to etch glass. So once you put this on your window or glass surface, it's going to look like that etching cream. So this is a really easy way to use this on other um, little projects as well, like maybe shadow boxes, but not have to use, you know, that liquid armor etch. So finishing up here and then I can see, but you cannot, and to be honest, it's a little difficult for even myself to see, but I am just going to go through and grab the middles of the snowflakes. There were some little pieces in the middle and then we will be all set. That and I'll show you how easy this is to work with. So this is actually my very first time working with window cling, but it's super, super easy. And you guys will love the results. Now there is another type of window cling, I believe. I think there is just a regular white. So if you don't like the frosted look, because it is very, very subtle, but I love that look. Um, so it's personal preference for sure. But if you do not want that frosted look, then, um, I would try the other one. Now, I will be honest and say that I have not worked with the other one. You can kind of see the snowflakes there. Again, this is very, very um, white on white. So, um, again, I have not worked with the regular or the non-frosted version, but it may be a little bit more obvious if you just didn't want like that etched look. So this is super easy. Again, just removing the background. And then done you can just peel these up and this is why you want to pick a design that's really really simple you don't want to have a lot of little pieces now let me put this on a little acrylic base just so you guys can kind of get an idea of how this would apply to a window so I have here just a little a piece piece of acrylic I'm actually going to be using this for another tutorial but what you would do is you would just place it on your window now in the um, directions they also have someone using a little scraper tool so you could definitely put a scraper tool down if you wish um, but I honestly don't think that's quite necessary you can just do it with your fingers it depends on how picky you want to be but does that look pretty so that's how it's going to look on the window it's a nice subtle etching look again this is the frosted window cling I think that looks so pretty so now I'm going to go ahead and place these on my kitchen window I think that's going to look pretty so I'll show you a little snippet right at the end of the final reveal on my kitchen window but as always please be sure to give this a thumbs up let me know what you think of this craft. Let me know if you have done window cling as well. You can do any shapes with this. I am just a lover of snowflakes. I think they're so pretty, but you could make a little snowman. You can make Christmas trees, any types of shapes. You could spell out what you would like. That would be really fun as well. And it's just a really cute idea. All right, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and place these on my window. And I hope you guys enjoyed this.